Hello and welcome to Shark Jets. I'm Skidvis. In this video, we're just going to briefly look at how to change out the default bow in VRIF so that you can bring in a custom bow and change it up and make it look however you want. But first, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so I can keep making these. Now, without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Unity 2019 LTS. I have VRIF installed. I've disabled the main camera. I've added the XR rig and a plane for us to stand on. Um, I've also imported the free medieval weapons asset pack, which is on the Unity asset store. And it has uh, swords, axes, and uh, bow. So um, it's free, so you can download it and follow along. The link is in the descriptions. Now, when you're replacing the bow, it's important that you get one that's animated. So as you can see here, the wooden bow includes tension animation. So if you're using a bow that doesn't have an animation, uh, this will not work. So make sure to check for that. So back in here, so let's go ahead and bring in the standard bow. So I'll just type in bow and there should be a bow new i believe it's called bow new there it is so we'll drag this into the playing field and uh just move it out a little bit move it up a little bit so that it's not on the ground and so then we'll go ahead and grab that new bow from uh the free pack here so under prefabs you'll see wooden bow so I'll just go ahead and drag that in here as well and pull that off the ground and bring it forward as well. So you can see that uh, the orientation is not the same as the other one. So we'll fix all that here in a second. You can see that this bow has an animator so you know it's animated, which is what we want. And basically if you dig into this, you should see a couple of things. You should see the model itself and then the animation structure, the bones, the skeleton. Um, and in this particular case, we're looking for WB string. And if you move that, you should see the string moving in different directions. And that's what we want for uh, the bow. And that's how we'll know it works. So we'll just leave all that alone. I just wanted to show you that. So we'll open up the bow new. And in there, you'll see bow model. And inside of this, you'll see the BNG bow and the bow in there. And this controls the bow and the string. They're two different components here. So let's go ahead and bring in our bow uh, and just drop it in under the second string. So I'll go ahead and collapse this and drag this up there underneath the string. And you can see it's right underneath it. So it's a part of this bow component object uh, and so now we can go ahead and reset the transform and kind of figure out how to get it to line up with the other one so we just play around with the numbers here until we get what we want so let's uh, pull that in just a little bit and bring it down just a little bit and I'll just zoom in here so we can get a little bit closer. So I'm just going to try to eyeball this and make sure that it lines up with the other one as much as possible. And you can see the string is in a different place uh, from the other one. So we'll deal with that here in a second. So we can disable uh, the string that is enabled there and we can actually disable the recurse recurve part of the bow. And what we're going to want to do is go down to the, the deformation system is what controls the existing animation. So if we dig into these, uh, you'll find one for the string. And there's an object that it's following. So see this right here, follow transform, and it's following the knock. We're going to want that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this component and find the other bow and put that on the WB string. So just click on that and paste component as new. 
Now it's following the knock, so we need to know where the knock is. And if I click on that, you'll see it selects the knock object in our hierarchy. So I'll click on that and go to Edit Collider, and you can see where it's picking up um, that knock. And it's in the wrong place, right? It's where the old string was, not where the new one is. So we'll just go ahead and disable this real quick and move that knock over to where the other cable is. And now you can you can see that it's better aligned and you can go ahead and expand you know this this collider if you wanted to um, change oops, change its properties so that it's a little bit bigger or a little bit taller or whatever a little bit wider whatever you want to make it uh, line up with your string better however you want the tightness of that to be so now that that's set up uh, we should be able to just try this out and see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and disable the deformation system that's already there. So all we have is the BNG bow with our bow inside of that bow object there. And uh, let's go ahead and try it out and see what happens. All right, so there's our bow on the ground. So oops, let's go ahead and walk closer to that and pick it up with the right hand. Which would be the left hand now you can see it's it's not in the right place so you'll have to do some fine tuning to get it to uh, adjust to the right location you'll have to rotate it a little bit so that it's vertically aligned with your fingers um, and then maybe move it forward a little bit um, it all depends on your bow you might have to scale your bow down a little bit uh, but basically if we uh, if we grab this you can see now um, everything is working um, you'll have to, of course, adjust where the bow or where the arrow rests on the on the bow, depending on the width of your bow. Um, but basically, uh, it is all working as it should. And there you have it, quick and easy as usual. Um, there are some adjustments you'll have to make to make the bow kind of bend. Um, if you look at the existing bow, you can kind of move those pieces around and put them where they need to be so that it bends a little bit more. Um, and it's also, of course, based on the animation of the bow um, that you decide to bring in. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that I know and I keep making more of these. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm still Skidvis. Peace out.